Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to welcome Peggy Anderson, the manager of the Josephine County Fair. Peggy, great to see you. Thanks for hey, being here today. Thank you very much for having me. Welcome back to Southern Oregon. Thank you. So, so you you took on the position of manager of the fair uh, in September of last year. Is that I right? did. That's correct. Okay, but and and so you've been in Eastern Oregon, but you're very familiar with the Josephine County Fair. Well, actually, I am. I was born and raised here. Never thought I'd be coming back, and an opportunity came up, and here I am. That's that's wonderful. Okay, so uh, tell us about uh, some of the other work you've done and, and how that helped prepare you for, for this Josephine County Fair. Because I guess you're bringing some acts over, right? I am bringing some acts over. Actually, I've been the fair manager for Umatilla County Fair for almost the past 10 years. Mm. And so I've been in Eastern Oregon. I'm very, very familiar with fairs. I started here when I was in 4-H. I was actually in 4-H in Josephine County. And I was a horse 4-H'er and went through the whole program. And so I was in horse 4-H from when I was eight years old until I left right after high school. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so so with uh, with this year's fair, we're eight days away right now. It starts, yes, we starts are. next Wednesday. Uh, what are you doing right now to prep? Is is it just kind of just checking off a little things? It is. Box? It's just checking off my list. It's going back through. It's, it's really to reconfirm what I've got already done. Um, the minute that I was named Josephine County Fair Manager, uh, I started right away looking for acts and looking to see where we were going to go. But I had my own internal checklist that I brought, definitely brought with me. So I kind of need to, I know when things need to happen and when they need to fall. We've been following that all year. And I have a great fair board, and we, we talk every month. We have meetings, and we just go forward with the planning. Yeah, coming in from, from Umatilla, was it? County? Correct, okay, Umatilla so County. Com coming in from there uh, gives you a fresh look at what we can do to the fair. What can people expect that might be different this year? Well, I basically, you know, I sat down with the fair board right after I got here. And I actually came during the Josephine County Fair for two days oh. and um, looked at the way the layout was. We are going to totally do a different layout this year. The main stage is going to be down the midway, down by the covered arena. We have some grounds acts that will be working right off the patio area so we're pulling everything down into the main midway area mm. I really feel like we need to be sure that everybody gets into the different buildings and if you stop them right at the front gate with your entertainment then you have an opportunity to not be able to pull them down the midway so that's probably the thing that I did the the most different at this point okay very good we're gonna take a quick break a lot much more in a moment stay with us Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Peggy Anderson previewing next week's Josephine County Fair. So it starts eight days from today, next Wednesday. Uh, is it through the weekend? How many days does the fair run? It's four days. It runs Wednesday through through Saturday. Okay, and uh, how much How much is uh, admission? Well, on Wednesday, we actually have a special Seniors Day and Veterans Day. It'll be $6 for adults. Ooh. And um, then on Thursday is Family Day, which will be $6 again for adults and $3 for children, and kids under five are free. Wow. And then Friday and Saturday, it's $10 and $6. Okay, and, and I know uh, tickets are available now. Actually, yes, people absolutely. Can get them now. Yes, yeah. they can. They can come to the fair office and actually buy a pre-sale ticket so they don't have to wait in line. Okay. And what about the, the entertainment options this year? What can people Oh, we've got some great entertainment this year. I'm really excited. We're able to bring Jackson Mickelson in, and Jackson has just played at Cape Blanco. He'll be playing in Brownsville here in the very near future. And we have him on Wednesday night. Uh, but before him, we actually have McCaslin Rodeo. So we'll have a bull event on big opening Wednesday. Night. Big opening night. And then on Thursday, we have Battle of the Bands. Friday night, we have Famous Faces, which is a rock group out of the Portland, Seattle area. And then Saturday night, we have Billy London Whiskey Weekend. Wow, so you got the whole thing planned we do. out now. As you said, at this point, you're just going oh, through that we're list, double-checking everything. We're just doing the checks, absolutely. Yeah, crossing those T's. Yes, okay. we are. So if people want to find out more about the fair, or can they get tickets online? Uh, no, they cannot get tickets online. You just need to call the fair office at 541-476-3215. And you can check our website, which is www.josephinecountyfairgrounds.com. But give us a call or email us or do whatever you want to do. We can sure help you out if you want a ticket. Excellent. Great to meet you. Thank you so yeah, much for being here. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. My pleasure. Stay with us. We'll be right back.